the priest said something and he said, misery comes easy, but happiness takes work. And I was like, whoa, that's so true. I love when movies have like, like one little nugget that you can like mull over and think over. Well, after I've spent like a bazillion years trying to get my camera in the right spot, this is it. This is gonna have to do because I'm just a one man band over here trying to get it all set up the right way. Um, but guys, I'm so happy to be back sharing another video with you. Today, it's an anxiety update video. So if you haven't watched my first video that I did about I'm starting to deal with anxiety now, I would encourage you to watch that. Got a piece of hair right here. Um, it's linked down below in the description box. I think this is gonna be a series. I'm gonna probably title this like anxiety series or something because I know so many of y'all deal with anxiety like me. And I really hope this series of me as I'm learning to work through my anxiety, it helps and encourages you. So first, if you're new to this channel, my name is Molly. I make videos about my story, what God is teaching me, how he is growing me in hopes of encouraging you and your story and where you are at with God. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you part of the team. Please do it now. I'll wait. I'll wait. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. So let's just get right into this. So my last video, I told you guys that I was getting serious about dealing with my anxiety. And then after I did that video, a few months later, I don't remember when I made that video, but coronavirus hit. And of course, with staying at home and all of that and like our world kind of changing, my anxiety definitely went up. And I stopped working for two and a half months. So I was just at home with the kids. Like our routine was totally changed and I wasn't seeing friends like as much, like, you know, we were staying at home. I was trying to get outside a lot, but my whole world changed. And so my anxiety definitely got worse. But the positive of that time at home, it really opened my eyes to some things that I needed to deal with, some healthy habits I needed to start instilling that um, I realized we're gonna really help me with my anxiety. So actually it turned out to be a really good two and a half months. And now I'm back to work and I'm like, oh, my world's all changed again. And those habits that I was working towards, I'm like back where I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta work towards that. But I have made some positive improvements, but there's some things that are just gonna take a lot more time. So I'm just gonna share a couple things that I realized, not every single thing, um, but just a couple things that I hope will help you with anxiety. So one of the biggest things I've been really working towards is exercising and making that just a part of my life. So growing up, I never played sports. Like my family wasn't an active, outdoorsy kind of family. And so it didn't really, it wasn't a part of my life. And I kind of was like an inside person. Like I don't love being outside. I like to look at the outside from the inside, but I don't want to be outside. But now as I get older, like when I turned 30, I was like, I want to be in good shape. When I'm getting outside, even if it's just so simple, like getting on a walk with the kids or going on a little short hike with them. We did that yesterday. We went on a hike. It was like 2.4 mile hike. And that really does help me feel less sluggish, feel just more positive being outside, just mentally like more strong. Like I feel like as your body gets stronger, your mind gets stronger too. And then like vice versa. So I really have been trying to make that a habit. Um, it's definitely been an up and down process because, because I'm not in shape, I've injured myself a lot and I've been discouraged like, great, I gotta try something different. That's more like like lower impact, I gotta try something different, but I'm just realizing that it's a process, it's a journey of me getting in shape, it's a journey of me growing these muscles so that I can be stronger, so that I can do more things, and I don't wanna give up on that. So if you're not like getting active at all, but you really struggle with anxiety, I would really encourage you to change that up, but I just want you to know that this has been really important for me with my mind. It's not like it's a one fix all thing with anxiety. Everything I'm sharing with you is not a one size fits all kind of thing, or that's not what I'm trying to say. It's not a quick fix thing. It's just like building blocks that can help you work towards stronger mental health. 
So also I have a friend who's a fitness coach and right now he's like doing a deal with coronavirus. So I've been instilling his help and that's been a really big blessing because as I was getting discouraged with injuring myself, he is helping me kind of figure out what's gonna work for me to get stronger so I don't injure myself as much. Um, so that's something on a little side note is these first few things I'm sharing with you are things that I realized I cannot go with my alone, like to figure out. Like when you're dealing with anxiety, it's so easy to be like, well, I just need this, this, and this. But a lot of times we need to instill the help of other people to help us figure out what works for us, for our body, for our mind, like, and just outside help. And so the next thing I'm gonna share with you guys is again, instilling help, and that has been going back to my counselor regularly. So I kinda of got out of the habit of doing it. <laughs> the Amazon truck just drove up and I was like, great, I'm right in front of my window, hopefully it doesn't see me, talking to myself. Um, anyways, going back to my counselor, I have done that off and on throughout these five years of being a single mom. But I got out of the habit of it. I kind of thought, okay, I don't feel like I have as much to talk about. But then as I decided I really wanted to deal with my anxiety and during coronavirus, I was like, I need to go back to see my counselor. And what I love about going to see a Christian counselor is the fact that this person is not a part of your daily life. Like they're removed from you. They're like a non-biased person. So they're gonna just give you like honest, advice, honest input, and they can be an honest, like just sounding board for you to share, like whatever you wanna share without feeling like you're offending anybody or sharing too much. And I'm really thankful for that because as a single mom as well, like I don't have a spouse to share everything with. And so having a counselor that I can share things with has been, has been a huge blessing. So I have seen him two times since the stay at home order and I am gonna see him again next month. Just making it more of a routine. I know counseling costs a lot of money and it's hard to rationalize that if you're on a tight budget or even right now, like if you've lost your job or whatever. Um, but if there's a way you can make it work, like sacrificing money that maybe would go towards something else, I would so encourage you to do it because like it is so valuable. So that has been my second thing. My third thing I did, which wasn't very successful, but I'm like glad that I made the effort to do that. And that was to find another nature path to go to to see if there were any supplements that I could take to help with my anxiety. So during the stay at home order, I ordered some supplements to try for anxiety just on my own. Like I had done some research about things. I tried ashwanga, which is a very popular supplement, natural supplement for anxiety. And it just didn't work for me. I tried it in different forms. like different milligrams and it just like made me kind of spacey and headaches and stuff. So I was like, I guess that doesn't work for me. But the weird thing was that it helped me with, this is one of my symptoms of anxiety is I, I just get this like tightness in my stomach that is constant, not every day all the time, but it's very regularly constant, which I hate, but being honest with you guys and that ashwanga, I think that's how you say it, helped get rid of that feeling and that was like, wow, that's amazing, I don't feel that way. But the other negative side effects that I experienced um, didn't outweigh the pros, but that's worth trying for you. Again, I'm not, again, I haven't said it, this is my first time saying it, but I'm not a doctor, so like don't take my word for it, do your own research, ask your doctor. So I went to a naturopath, told her about like just my history and stuff, and she did give me a list of supplements of options, but I feel like she didn't, you know, like when you see a really good doctor and they just really listen to you share and they like kind of analyze your whole health history. I didn't have that experience, so that was kind of a bummer. I don't feel like it was super successful, but I feel like at least I made the effort to go do that and I'm still on the hunt for a good nature path that takes my insurance. Um, so hopefully someday I'll find someone that can help me with that. It's a process, it's a journey. That's see, like when I decided I wanted to start dealing with my anxiety, I kind of felt like, okay, I'm gonna do these things and like it'll get better and I'll like be over it. But I'm realizing that it's like a journey. It's like trial and error, trying different things, seeing what works and um, not putting so much pressure on myself to deal with it like once and for all and be done. And I feel like that's how it is with everything in life that when you're learning something new and you're trying to overcome something, it's not like a quick fix. I'm a very like, let's get it over with quick, moving on to something else. And that's just not gonna be the way it is. So my last thing that I've been really realizing about anxiety is the fact that 
when I am the, in the word, when I'm praying, when I'm spending time with God, I am so much more grounded in who I am as a person and it affects my anxiety. And I feel like, you know, life is busy as a mom, as a single mom working, like it's busy for all of us, right? Not just me, it's for you as well. And it's easy to make that like down the list priority. And I hate that. I hate that. It should be number one in my life. And the days where I skip spending time with God, I notice a difference. And I, I don't know. I just want to remember that anxiety is a spiritual battle. I'm realizing that as well. It's like Satan puts thoughts in our mind that can make us overcome with fear. And we have the power by God's word and by the armor of God to overcome those thoughts and tell ourselves the truth and to pray against those fears and those thoughts and to be filling our mind with what is good, with what is true, with what is right. Um, because fear comes so easily, but joy takes a little bit of work. So I just watched this movie recently and I was like, wow, that like, hits home for just me thinking about my life and this guy was a recovering alcoholic he had gone like two years without drinking anything and then one night someone says oh just have a drink and so he has one drink well one drink leads into getting drunk and just like it was like a terrible evening for him it was like a negative bad day so the next day he's like talking to the priest the catholic priest or whatever the priest said something and he said, misery comes easy, but happiness takes work. And I was like, whoa, that's so true. I love when movies have like, like one little nugget that you can like mull over and think misery over. is so easy. Fear is so easy, but joy and choosing happiness, it takes more work. And it's like making a choice today. I'm going to be filled with God's word. I'm going to pray and share with him my fears. I'm going to get out there and exercise. I'm going to sacrifice spending my money on other things so that I can go to a counselor and I can share with them. You know, I'm going to make an appointment with my naturopath or my doctor to try to take some steps to get help. I'm going to share with my friend that I'm struggling with this and like just be open, you know? Those things take effort. It's much easier to just say this is the way I am. I'm gonna be a miserable person, I'm gonna be an anxious person forever. But happiness takes a little bit more effort. But God meets us there. Like when we tell him, God, I wanna overcome this. Please help me, God. Please help me to be aware of the enemy's attacks on me. Please show me the right steps to take. Like God will meet us there. He will help us. He will strengthen us to rise ahead to that challenge if we just seek him. So that's kind of where I'm at with anxiety. It's definitely much more journey. There'll probably be a bazillion more videos on this topic. And I hope that you'll subscribe to see more of those videos. I wanna know where you are at with this whole like coronavirus and your anxiety if you deal with anxiety. Has it been worse during this season? This will encourage you to know that my counselor said that Mental health and stuff has been difficult for a lot of people, he said. When I told him it had been harder during the stay-at-home order, he said, yeah, that's really common right now. So don't feel alone in that if you're feeling more like you're struggling with anxiety or depression or whatever. We're all in this together, and I hope that you were encouraged a little bit with the tips that I shared today. I will see you guys in my next video. See y'all later.